What's up you guys? It's Courtney and I'm back with another video. This time it's more interesting because I finally got my medical marijuana card. And I want to share my experience with you guys just in case you are wondering like what are the steps and what the process is kind of like. I'm going to go over that with you guys. So don't mind me if I'm looking down at my phone. I just have like a lot of notes I can't remember and I just got back from like a session. So you ain't trying to fucking like um, a couple questions that you need to ask the medical clinic that you're going to pick out is if you need to be a resident in the state that you're trying to get the medical card in. So in my case, I went to LA to get my medical card. I stay in Las Vegas and um, they said it would be no problem but other medical clinics when I called around they said that that was no bueno so just be sure to ask them that specific question as well as question number two which is going to be if you have to have um, that state ID that you're getting the medical card in the same state ID and if they do take out of state IDs so like I said I stay in Las Vegas I went to California and not to mention I have a Texas ID because I'm from Texas so I'm all over the place and at this specific medical clinic they said that was not a problem um, so those are the two questions that you mainly need to ask when you are calling around at first and you guys can always go on like Yelp or Google if you are just looking for a medical clinic in your area that can give you a, a recommendation a couple things that they want you to bring is your uh, driver's license or your passport um, and also medical records. So if you have any medical records that are like have you have prior to um, going to see this doctor, if you fell and hit your head and you have a paper on your concussion, um, you can bring that with you or um, any papers that may prove your case so you can get a valid recommendation as well. Let's get into pricing. So uh, at the clinic that I went to, they charged me about $50 for my recommendation and that was just for my recommendation only. Uh, they did have other options where you can get a recommendation card, which is like a wallet size flip out or you can get a picture ID that has your picture on it, which basically says the same exact thing as your uh, $50 recommendation. They just ask you if you want it for um, $20 more for each of those options. So I did opt out of those, but um, there's different ways that you can turn your recommendation paper into a PDF and you can kind of laminate it if you choose to carry it on you at all times you can also do that as well but uh, I thought that was going to be a better option for me to just keep it because I just want to get in and out of the dispensaries and also um, the police won't mess with me too much if I have it on me at all times so that's good. <laughs> Like just only one sheet of paper actually it wasn't even a lot of paperwork I didn't have to think too much about it uh, <laughs> I didn't have to think too much about it when I went in and I filled in the paperwork I handed the guy my ID and um, maybe five minutes with him being there I went back and I saw the doctor he gave me an evaluation um, we also discussed like my medical history and he also weighed me checked my blood pressure and he also got my height and everything like that so it's basically a real physical you guys um, and within like 20 minutes I was out of the office he walked me up to the front desk and he went over the restrictions that I had with the medical card so with the medical card you can possess up to eight ounces of dried marijuana um, which can be like anything from wax to uh, you know. Everything, like everything marijuana, you know, wax, they can be edibles, they can be pre roll joints, anything marijuana, you guys. Um, and you can also grow anywhere from 6 to 12 mature plants for recreational use. And that's going to be really interesting because I'm not really a grower, so uh, I have to do more research about that, and I'll let you know when I come up with it. 
two things that he told me I can't do with this card. I cannot be within a thousand feet of a school, anywhere by kids, you know, recreational centers, um, just, I don't smoke around kids, I don't smoke around kids anyway, so I won't be anywhere within, you know, a thousand feet within kids. And then also you can't smoke within a, uh, you can't smoke in a moving vehicle. I won't be smoking in moving vehicles anytime soon. Next, when it comes to picking your dispensary, a couple of dispensaries will take your out-of-state ID and a couple of them will not take your out-of-state ID. So as soon as I left the doctor's office, I went to a dispensary that did not have a problem with my California recommendation and my Texas ID, so they let me in no problem. But as soon as I got back to Nevada and I tried to go to one dispensary out there, they told me that they could not take my Texas driver's license, but my California recommendation was good. And they told me that if I wanted to buy from them, I have to have a passport, which was no problem because it's on my to-do list as well. But um, those may be a couple of things you can run into. But there is another dispensary in Nevada that will take my Texas ID with my California recommendation. No problem, like I said. So. If you let these things stop you, they'll stop you, but um, they're just, they're not a big problem. It's just, you have to call around and you need to ask ahead of time so you won't be wasting time and you can just have an easy, breezy experience like I did. And I think I'm going to have a picture of the lighter because it has the place of the dispensary I got it from. They give, they give you like a goodie bag and you get a pre-rolled joint, you get a gram of whatever they have but I happen to get some OG Skywalker and I also got a pre-roll joint of who knows what but I consumed all those things so you guys will see some pictures of that as well and I got a eighth of some top shelf lemon haze yes. it was awesome it had a really good lemony flavor to it it just smelled delicious and it tastes even better um, also, I got a Cronova cookie, it was an edible, and it had three grams of, you know, marijuana in it. <laughs> the same amount of marijuana that I bought in my eighth was in my edible, so, and that took me two days to kind of finish just because if you look at the packaging, which I will have a picture of that as well, the guy on the back is like super slumped out. And if you try to enjoy that whole fucking cookie, you're going to be slumped the fuck out. So, I mean, I did enjoy that and that was like $10. So if you are looking to get your medical card, it's not as hard as you think. If you have any more questions, um, you can ask me because I am a new patient. And I'm really kind of educated a little bit on this. So um, just leave your comments uh, below. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. If you want to see more from me, please subscribe to my channel. And uh, hopefully you guys were very informed on this. Marijuana is not a bad thing, nor is it killing people. So stop saying that shit.